What's going on guys, big welcome to you all to our channel, we are team crushing the meta, you're here with D-Boy, so I'm just back from Japan, I was playing words, so there will be a lot of video uh, talking about that tournament, talking about um, what I saw in Japan and how everything went, also there will be a different topic videos, like I have also bought a lot of new cars from Japan and I will be comparing uh, the rarity and the quality of the cars from the English and the Japanese format as well and uh, there will be a talk about the uh, Japanese tournament, the English tournament and also there will be of course new deck profiles so there will be more and more and more videos for you guys to enjoy but today's video we'll talk about the revival collection so volume 2 of course if you don't know what the, uh, the revival collection is it's actually something that they they reprint cards for the English format so that people that have the standard deck that play the standard format will also be able to play the premium format with the help of these cards so it's very interesting and this is also something that works pretty good let's say for the spy brother aggro build deck because it's basically the standard deck with stride folders and with some sprites so yes it is very interesting and I'm very happy that Bushiro did this they need to do more of these uh, kind of reprints because some cards are very hard to get and some people would like to play standard and premium at least play it for fun what's interesting is is they are using of course the new full art so you can see the cards you can see everything on the card and this looks amazing they also reprinted the set dragons as you can see in Gizi himself so it's a reprint for the Gizi deck now we are having I create one stride folder, a G Guardian, and one of the G units. So with the help of these cards, you could upgrade your standard deck to be a premium deck with like getting, of course, some few other cards. I think it's a great idea, as I said, but in this video, we will go and talk about each and every clan with the cards they got and if it's smart choice from Bushiroad or not, from the player perspective. Of course, I'm not the experienced on let's say I'm not the expert on all of the clans so I will keep my opinion on the clans that I know the most of but I will also give you a fast um, let's say reply of what I think but I need your help in the comment sections of course to be able to tell me what do you think about this set and your favorite clan and which cars they should have gone with all right, so let's jump into the list. Of course, we have of course the Gize pack, so Gize and every other uh, Z dragons. I think this is a very smart um, reprint. I think that the Gize pack was something that is um, a fresh mechanic, let's say, to the game. Some people have like they they really hate Gize because it's hard to play against in some situations, but I think it's good. I think that it's unfair for some of the clans that can't really use it, but maybe in the future they will be able to use it. It's a it's a mechanic that will be always there in Vanguard, and with time, maybe each and every clan could make a kind of a Giza deck. But let's jump into the other clans because the Giza pack was still the same. It will not make a very a huge bit different, let's say. So when we are talking about these cars, guys, you have to keep in mind that this was something that is created for the standard deck. So when we have Genzalot as a reprint for Royal Paladins, I think that's very good because the standard deck is pretty much blaster deck. So I think Genzalot is a very, very good choice. Also, it's sometimes a hard card to get and it's a bit expensive. So I think it's very good that they chose Genzalot. The same with the Purge. I think that some people would say that they wanted to see Siegenberg being reprinted. Yes, that could have been, but again, the Purge was a GR and it didn't really get the full art. Siegenberg was a triple rare, um, as I remember, and also an SP, so you could have that as well if you want to. The Purge is a good choice because the standard deck for Kagero is an Overlord deck. So that's why, in my opinion, the Purge was a good choice. The same with Igor, I think it's a very hard card to get and it works really good with the Deleter deck. So again, for the standard choice, I think that Igor was a very good choice. For Gear Chronicle, this is of course a very interesting choice, but yeah, I 
did, I, I don't really see any other card being replayed and, and this card being a premium is sometimes very hard to get uh, I mean the promo is where it's sometimes very hard to get and if you want to upgrade your standard deck to be a premium deck then this is a very good card to play or to get also you're getting him in high rarity so that's very good for Buddha, Bermuda Triangle, they went with Anji. I think this is a bad choice. I do love the art on this card and how it looks, but I think it's a bad choice. They There, were, there are a lot of different strides that they could have gone with to support the standard deck. But again, we don't really have all the standard cards yet, so this could be a very good choice. I don't know yet. In my opinion, they could have gone with something different. When we're talking about Neo Nectar, I think that this is a very good choice. They could have gone with others, but I think that this is a very good choice for Neo Nectar because also Musketeers is the main, um, let's say, core for the standard deck. We're talking about uh, the Oracle Tank Tank clan, of course, Stillwater is the first thing that comes in mind and I think it's a very good reprint because this would be a far off in each and every Oracle Tank Tank premium deck. Angel Feathers, they went with Gavriel. I really don't think that this is the best choice, but yep, I think it's good. Again, you could already get this card in SP and Triple Rare and it's not that expensive. Maybe the SP is expensive, but the Triple Rare is not. So I don't know if this is the best choice. Again, Angel Feather players, leave a comment in the comment section below if you agree with me or not. I think that they could have gone with a lot, um, let's say more possible playable card, let's say just heal one and that's it. So they could also go with that as well, but they didn't. For Luard, they went with Dragon Abyss. I think that this is good because Luard is actually the most played premium uh, Shadow Paladin deck. So this is good in my opinion. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, if I'm wrong. Uh, for um, Gold Paladins, this is not the card they should have gone with. They went with Logger Gate. I think that sh they should have gone with the other one, the one that doesn't cost Contrast and gets uh, the extra drive check. Or with the Golden Dragon because it's also good if you're just playing the plain Ezreal deck and you're putting some Strat Fallers in that. Uh, for Genesis, they went with the Mythical uh, Destroyer Beast. Again, um, I think that they should have gone with Fenrir because Fenrir is very good in, uh, let's say, if you're playing the Wiseman loop. But I could understand why they went with this card because this is a card that you could put in every Genesis deck and it could be a 2 off or a 4 off, but I don't know for sure. I think that Genesis has a lot of different strides, but it also doesn't really rely on striding if it's premium or let's say maybe, maybe um, if you're not having the right soul or the right cards for Himiko, then you could go for Van Gunder, but. I think that they could have gone with a different strat as well. For Nobutama, this is a very bad choice. They could, they, they should have never went with Mokoro. I think that this is a very good card. Don't get me wrong; it's very nice design, but it is not the card they should have gone with. They could have gone with Rena or Minjin Lord or any anything else. The the GB8 would have been very good, but not Mokoro. I think it's a card that it's maybe used at once. Uh, you put him at one in your deck, but you don't really use him, so it's it's just this is a waste. They should have never went with this. With the Chikazi, they went with Devastate. Devastate is a cheap card to get, but I could see people want to see this at four in the, the, the Chikazi decks, but I think that they should have gone with Dogma because the Dogma SP is very hard to get, so they would, should have definitely went with Oregon for Dogma. For Murakumu, they went with him. Ah, yeah. This is again a very bad choice. So for Murakumu and for Norikami, they went, uh, or with Nubitama, they went with a very bad choice. Uh, they should have never went with this GR. For Norikami, they went with V-Buster. I think that's a good choice. This is a card that will be played maybe at four and different um, Narukami decks because it really works very good. The mechanic, the power, 
the uh, extra drive and a crit is just too good. It's it's a card that you will be playing at four in most Narukami decks. And again, correct me if I'm wrong. Then one who winning champ, Victor. Um, yeah, it's a very good choice. It is the most expensive stride I think for uh, Nova Grapplers, and it's a card that you could use at uh, let's say two off or even a three off if you want to. I think four off is a bit too much, but it's good. For the match police, they went with X Gallop. Yep, a very good choice. We only have him in GR, so this is good to be able to get this card on full art. And it's also the I don't know if it's the most expensive stripe, but it's very good. For Spike, they went with Dirty Picker. Well, I am a Spike for the player, and I'm crazy about Spike cards, and I think. On the one hand, it's good that I went with Piccolo because we don't have an SP. On the other hand, it is not the card that is used a lot if you're talking about the uh, new standard deck. They would have or they should have gone with Agrius. We all know that. All Spike Brother players know that they should have gone with Agrius and Push Road chose to get Piccolo. I don't think that this is this is again a mistake. I would love to see Picker on a full art, don't get me wrong, I love this. But again, this is a mistake. They should have not gone with Picaro, they should have gone with Agrius, because Picaro is a one-off in some of the spike decks, and some of them don't even really use him anymore, it's just in there. But I love the card and I'm very happy. I finally, if you saw me on Facebook, we finally have him on uh, I, could, I could show you this if you're not using Facebook because this is also very fun uh, as you can see me you see me right here and I finally I'm able to get this back because for some of you guys already know we didn't get this in English we get the reprints but all of them were a normal not an SP so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open this and I'm hoping that the Dark Piccolo is in here because that will make me very happy. So it's not the first one, it's not the last one. <gasps> it's this one! Yay! Super happy. <laughs> I finally got all the SPs that I wanted. Look at him. This card won me so many games. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see right there, I was very happy when I got the Piccolo in, of course it's Japanese, but that's still fun to be able to see him in, a, in, in, in let's say, full art rarity. So, yeah, I think for uh, Spike Brother players, they most of them wanted to see Agrius being reprinted, because that's the obvious choice, or Hell or 8 being reprinted, because also that's your finisher and you want to see that in full art as well. But we didn't see any GB8 being reprinted, so I don't understand that they want to reprint something else. But Piccolo is not the best choice, and um, if you wanted to go with Mirror Place, then this is also a card that is not really using its standard deck, so Agrius is your best choice. They went with Blether Mods for Dark Regulars. Yes, a very good choice. This is a card that you will use multiple times. They, should, they could also have gone with him if they wanted to. Blether Mods is, I think... A little bit more expensive and it's also needed in the their curricular deck. But they could have gone with this or Better Moss. I think that Better Moss is a good choice though. Um, so yeah. And that's good for their curriculars. For Aqua Force, uh, or let's say, let's go for the Moon first. They went with Hari. Um, this is not the, good, the best choice that they could have gone with. They should have gone with the other. The, the promo that is used as, as a 4 off. This is a card that is not really used that much anymore, maybe as a 1 off, but in the most situations you don't really need him. So, for Pill Moon, it's not a good choice. For Grand Blue, I, I'm not the expert on this, so you, you should not ask me, but I think that this is not the best choice. Again, they should could, maybe should have gone with uh, Nitros as the stride, but. You, you you need to correct me on this because I'm not the expert on Grand Blue, especially on the standard deck being upgraded. I mean, we have seen the uh, Turbo Megado deck, and I don't think that they use um, Necro Stronger that much. So I don't know. 
for Aquaforce. They went with Alexandros, of course. This is a very good choice. Why should have they used something else? I don't know. Mega Colony, Overwhelm. Yes, again, a great choice because Overwhelm, as well, it's reprinted. It's still one of the cards that we used a lot. They could have gone with Octorondus, but I think that Overwhelm is the better choice. For Great Nature, again, it's a very good choice. So, they are doing a great job on the most uh, strides, but some of them are not that good. So now we were, we are with uh, the, stri uh, the uh, G guards. Uh, with the G guards, we will not go into every one or each one because th this would be very difficult because a lot of people have different ideas on which um, G guard is the best. But some of them are very easy to handle. Like let's say when you talk about Bermuda, then <laughs> all of us know which uh, G guard should have been used. Uh, when you talk about Kagero, Defeat Flare, really? Defeat Flare? I don't know. Should have been Deny Griffin, but again, Deny Griffin is reprinted more than once, so I think it's a good idea. For Nubutama, they went with this. I think it's an okay choice because it's some, also a card that is hard to get in the most situations. Uh, for Tachikazi, the, this one again, so. I think that they're doing the on flippers for the most cleanse. Uh, that's okay. I think it's okay. Um, for Spike Brothers, of course, this should have been nothing else than Turbo Linus, so that's good. Uh, for Dark Regulus, they went with Vincent. I think that's not a good choice. But again, let's not go into let's not go into that too much because again most people have different ideas about uh, which strat photos they want or which uh, g guards they wanted to see for the strat photos there's not much to talk about right there um they're reprinting all of them so that's good i'm also interested in which art they will reprint some of them like the uh Bill moon is it this one or is it the other art because some of them have different arts and uh, for let's say Spike Brothers, because we only have one art, we will be seeing a different art, or will it be the same? Uh, it would be fun if we would see a different art because we don't know yet. So that's actually it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's a different idea video when we talk about some of the cards faster. And again, as I said, I didn't go into each and every uh, G guard. But I did went in, into every stride because I think that strides are the most important cards in this set. And the G guards are also important. But the G guards mostly are easy to get. Uh, most of them, but some of them are hard to get. So, thanks guys for watching. Don't uh, forget to like, comment and subscribe. And you're also free to share our videos on Facebook. If you're not on Facebook and you want to... Uh, hear the news or keep up uh, with us then you could also comment and we will try to make more of these kind of videos or videos when we show everything that we put on facebook as well so thanks guys for watching until next time